one, two, three, go. A different kind of soldier. A poem dedicated to everyone who's alive. Alive not only to hear it, but alive to the possibility of transformation. You see, every one of us is a part of us that likes to do good. But most of us are in constant battle with this part of us. That inner voice compelling us, pushing, urging us to do what is right as opposed to what is easy. It is this that can make us a different kind of soldier. So, polish and tie them, your boots, soldier. Yes, you are a different kind of soldier. Not interested in victory. Not even an enemy to defeat. Every human being is every bit a human being to you. Black or white or brown or young or old or male or female or able-bodied or disabled or straight or gay or, or Christian or Muslim or Jew. You love them all. You love them all as should we, like you do. You are not a machine oiled by loathing. No machetes hang off your clothing. Picking up pieces of hearts strewn in battlefields of racial, tribal and gender wars is what you do. You are the embodiment of humanity, soldier. You give hope to those who like it. A candle lighting other candles. And you do not snatch it from them because you can. You salute them all. Not by positions they hold. For the lure of power is no hold on you. You are our very last hope, soldier. Your ways remind us of what we have lost. Gains in technology. Making man reach speeds of sound itself. It seems so unsound in light of what it has cost humanity itself. Quick to anger and slow to forgive. Our egos, mountains, and our tempers, fountains. Our nations are built on the notion of destroying other nations. And our children are fed a bowl of hate at breakfast every morning. It is little wonder then that their bellies are full, but their souls are empty. We have done this to them. We have done this to our children, soldier. We have, with our very hands, destroyed a generation. Capitalism's accumulationism has fed their greed. And liberalism's globalization has wiped our languages from their tongues. How can they ever truly love another? if they can never truly love themselves. We have a bet on our hands. We have a bet on our hands, soldier. Some lost territory to gain. Where is your, where is your rifle? Why are you not cocking it? Where is your bravado? Why are you not cocky with it? This brand of bravery you show is alien to a regiment, soldier. Haven't you been warned? 
bringing your heart with you into the battlefield weakens the platoon. You should have left it behind in tombs of hearts like other soldiers do. Safe from the reach of the civilian who may require of you such despicable things is compassion and love. Love. No. No, no, soldier. A soldier is a soldier, soldier. But you are a different kind of soldier. Different from other soldiers. Interested in the loot after the shoot. Men programmed like machines by brutes in suits to kill for a badge and a cross. They have no hearts at all. War zones pump inside their chests. These men who use bodies of women and children as bullet vests. But you, you come unarmed and bring no harm, only hope and possibility of transformation of humanity. No badges, no crosses, no problem.